Hello everybody, welcome to another Weathering Waves video. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting all of these characters in a tier list to show you guys what my opinions are on whether or not, or like how badly I want them to be on my account and how bad I want to pull for them or even if I get them for free, how much I want to use them. Um, also right now, if you don't know, I am currently right now on stream at twitch.tv forward slash aqueous gotcha. It's in the description below. Uh, I am streaming for 24 hours. I'm doing a 24 plus hour stream that can be increased through means of a normal subathon. Where if you subscribe to my Twitch, follow my Twitch, or subscribe to my YouTube, it adds time onto the timer. Currently, right? Uh, actually, I would have to do the math. But originally, I was going to be getting off tomorrow at noon. But I've gotten two subscribers on my Twitch. I've gotten three, two or three follows on my Twitch, and I've gotten a subscriber on my YouTube. And that is all gone towards increasing the amount of time that I will be live. So I think I'm probably almost at 1 p.m. tomorrow. We've almost gained an entire hour on the stream. So if you want to increase that even any further, come on down. Also, right now, Weathering Waves is running an event in uh, combination with Twitch, uh, working with Twitch together, where if you gift two subs to a streamer, you get free pulls in the actual game. You get, you get a bunch of different rewards in the actual game. But Asteroid comes with that, and Asteroid is what you use to make pulls. So, all you have to do is spend a little less than $10. And if you don't have it, you don't have to do it. I'm not saying you have to do it. You don't have to at all. But if you would like to, and you would like to get extra rewards in Weathering Waves when it drops today, in less than five hours from now, then do that. All right? Click on the link below. Let's start the tier list. Okay, so first is Encore. Um, I would consider Encore such a badass character because uh, we did the tier list for the ultimate animations in the game and Encore was at the very top because uh, I absolutely love her animations. It is so good. Um, the thing where she goes, Arr! and like she has like the, the little dudes that are with her. I don't even know what they're called, uh, but they're awesome. She's a really awesome character. I am very, very excited to pull her. I think it's going to be a super want because she is badass. Um, yeah, let's move on. Uh, as for... Man, I, I forget the names of these characters sometimes. Just a moment. Just a moment. I'm deeply sorry. I'm deeply sorry. I'm very sorry. Okay, this is Tauchi. Tauchi, I don't really have any pull currently to get her so I, I i just wouldn't mind not getting her she, she's kind of whatever um as for this is yan jen right no this is yan jen this is yan jen yan jen is really really hot but unfortunately in the closed beta test at least she was really bad I'm going to put her in want category because I think she's cool and I like how her alt and the like groups people together and stuff. And it has like the yin yang. It looked really cool. I liked it. Talked about that a lot in the showcase of the ultimates and that tier list, uh, which is also posted on my channel, by the way, go out and go and check that out after this. Um, I'm going to put her in the want category. I, she's someone I want, but not someone I anywhere near need. Okay. By Z by Z is her name. By Z is basically the Natasha equivalent. She is very, very, uh, she is decent currently. She's not the best healer in the game. The best healer is the five-star healer, and that would be Verena back here. This is basically the Natasha of the game for any of my Honkai Star Rail enjoyers, and this is basically the uh, uh, Bayou, except much better because she actually buffs the damage of the character. She supports the, char uh, the character's damage, which is not something that Bayou did and is a big reason why she got so, so quickly and massively outscaled. Um, I'm going to put her, I'm, I'm going to put Baiji here because she is cool. I don't, I, I definitely, I wouldn't say I'm a big Varina wanter. Um, she would be the best support to have in my Yinlin and Calcharo team comp. Um, so I want her as far as that, but not in terms of like wanting the character. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like. I would do much better if I had her. I don't really care if I get her that much. Okay. Is that, does that make sense? That makes sense. I wouldn't be upset if I didn't get her. Right. So I think 
that, but I do want her for the power. Okay. So I am going to put Verena here and I'm also going to put Baiji here. Um, she's really hot. I mean, ba Baiji, Baiji is really hot. Okay. I am not talking about Verena any longer. Baiji is really hot. Um, and she has this little pet. It's pretty cool. She fights with that. She heals. She's a decent healer. I like her for that. Want. Yang Yang is next. I really have no pull towards this character. I gotta be honest. Like, I do not care about this character almost at all. It's just whatever. You're just whatever. And Rexlin, uh, cosplaying as this character, uh, is absolutely scarred into my skull. Make sure you look that up if you, uh, you want to see that. Um, but I recommend that you don't want to see that. Calcharo is a must pull. I need him. Okay. I need him. He is such a badass character. I, I love him. He is amazing. I think he is one of the coolest male characters in any gacha game that I have played in terms of like the anime styled ones. He's just really, really badass looking. Jian is also that way. Also, um, how was it? Yan Wu is that way as well. I feel like this game does a decent bit of their male characters very, very well. Uh, I think that despite Alto is kind of bad, um, I, I like him too. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, the, the male characters in this game are just really fucking good looking, and I think Calcharo is peak, bro. Calcharo is insanely good looking. Next up is going to be... Sanwa. Sanwa, I... It's like, eh, I just wouldn't mind not getting her. Like, I could get her. I'd be fine. I'd be okay with it. I wouldn't mind not. Right? I, I wouldn't mind not. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, as for Chixia, I want to go for Chixia first because I do want, despite the fact that she's not incredible, I think her design is really cool. And I really like her, like, badass gunplay where she, like, starts shooting everything around her. That, like, die, 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 Reaper from Overwatch, Samira from League of Legends type firing, like, fighting is really, really cool. Anytime you put, like, a character with two guns. Um, yeah, I, th I think her style is really cool. Constant barrage of bullets. Uh, plus, range is going to give you an extra bit of, you know, timing to be able to react to attacks more. So it's probably going to be a bit easier to play uh, beginner friendly whenever I'm trying to learn the mechanics. So if I get her really early, I'm going to be pretty, pretty satisfied with that, I think. Um, I think she's going to be a really cool character. I want her. She's just badass. Right? This is not for any power reasons. Next up is going to be Dan Jin. Dan Jin, to me, is just whatever, but she is really strong. I think I want her as far as she's a really strong four star that can maybe tie me over for, uh, for other characters to come out that I really want. Like, Yin Lin is not going to be out when the game releases, unfortunately. It's going to be Jian, which Jian is also an insane character. Um, yeah, but honestly, like, I, I want her for... Just having, really. Because she's good, she can tie me over. Um, and then I'll probably drop her, if I'm being honest. Unless she stays really relevant. And then we have, like, a QQ situation. But I also really do like QQ as well. I like her play style. I like her fighting style, where, you, where she uses her skill. It's like a barrage of strikes in front of her. And then you can switch out, and she'll still be doing it until it's over. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Um, next up is going to be Da Boy Yan Wu. Yan Wu, I think he's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to put him in the want category again. Uh, Yan Wu is, he's an eat and all. Um, I think he's a good duo for Calcharo until Yin Lin comes out. Uh, I think that's what people have him as. Uh, but, so because I have Calcharo, if I can get Calcharo really, really early into my playing, and then I have to wait a really long time for Yin Lin, I would imagine that Honestly, I think I'm going to put him up here anyway, just because I think he's really cool. But the moment I get Yinlin, he's going to kind of exit from my brain permanently. So I guess I'm going to put him down here in the want category, but a little higher than a few of these other characters. All right, a little higher. And honestly, I'm going to put Janjin below. I'm going to put Janjin below. Uh, no, I can't. She's too hot. Oh, uh, anyway.
anyway, uh, let's go for Gian. Gian is a really, really cool character. I really like Gian. He is super badass. I would 100% have him here if I didn't have to. If I didn't feel like I had to skip him to pull Yinlin, I would 100% get him. The thing is, I think that. I think I really want him anyway. If I'm being honest, I think I want to go for him a little bit. Uh, and if I get him, I'm going to be very, very, very happy about that. I'm going to be very, very happy about that. I am going to pull him. That's what, that's what I've decided. I've decided right here in this video. I thought about it. I've been thinking about it a lot today, uh, leading up to the release in four and a half hours. Uh, come to my you know, stream. I'm streaming right now, by the way. Uh, we will be streaming until that releases. Uh, well, not until it releases, when it releases, and then for many, many hours after that. Um, Gian, really, really cool character. I am definitely going to throw at least 30 pulls of this banner. I've decided I'm going to throw my first 30 pulls that I get for the special banner at his banner. And if I can get him, I'm going to be one very happy camper. If not, it's fine. I built pity for Yin Lin, who is also going in the must pull. I need them. Right? And hey, sometimes you don't get every character you need. So I might not get Jian. It'll be whatever. But I sure hope I get Yin Lin. Okay? But we are going to throw pulls at Jian. Rover. Rover is cool. Um, I'm going to put Rover. Rover you get, right? A few of these characters are free to play. So you will get them on your account. This is more like how bad I actually want them to be on my account. If I never use them, but they're on my account, who cares? That's the kind, that's kind of what I've been thinking, right? Like that, that's kind of the idea of this. Yes, there are free characters. I will have them on my account no matter what, but it's whether or not I want them on my account, whether or not if I got them for free or not, if I, if I didn't get them for free, would I seek them out? And Rover is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I would seek them out, but the rover is actually pretty good in weathering waves. Um, very similar to how uh, Harmony MC is really good in Hawkeye Star Rail right now. Um, it's definitely nowhere near going to be the irrelevance of physical MC. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put rover pretty much at the bottom of the want tier. It's whatever, but I but I will get him and I will put points. I will put uh, work into her. Hard skip. I'm going to hard skip the furry boy. Um, I just have no drive towards this character. I thought his alt looked incomplete, to be honest. Um, I just don't like his play style. It's really like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm very, very uninspired of this character. I think his design is okay. His design at base, like just looking at him, is okay. He is easily recognizable, all right? But. I don't know. Ling Yang is not the character for me. Next up, we're going to have Alto, right? That's his name. Hold on. Oh, Morteffi, Morteffi. This is Morteffi. Um, I don't like this angle of him, but I think he's a really, really, really badass looking character. Um, and he goes well with Jian because when Jian ults, which is basically what his whole kit is based off of, all of his attacks become heavy attacks, and Jian buffs heavy attacks. Gun will buff heavy attacks. And when all your attacks, even your light attacks, become considered heavy attacks whenever you ult. That is an insane combo. So Morteffi and Jian are a crazy combo. Uh, Jian, uh, no, uh, Kalcharo and Yinlin, that's another crazy combo. These are pretty much going to be like, I would say the two premier combos in 1.0 of the game. Next up is going to be Mr. Uh, Alto. And Alto, I have no care about this guy at all. I think his hair is cool. Uh, I think he, his aura of existence is okay. I, I don't know, guys. I have no drive towards this character. I really don't. Um, I would hard skip him. So, he's at the bottom of my tier list. That is pretty much going to complete the whole tier list. Thank you all for watching. If you have anywhere that you are going to put, actually, wait, no, I got to put Yinlin above Jian. Um, I've got to put Kalcharo between, uh, behind Jian. Because while Kalcharo is insanely cool, I think I would actually like to have Jian more. 
But it's the problem where it's like Yinlin number one, Kalchara number three. I think together, since they're such an insane combo that I will be going for, it overrules Xion being second. But I will throw in pulls for Xion, like I said. If I don't get him, hey, I built pity towards Yinlin and I will get her 100%. And I'm also going to go for uh, Yinlin's weapon. I'm going to go hard on Yinlin. All right. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Come over, check the stream out. We'll be streaming for many, 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 many more hours. We are only five and a half hours into a 24 hour stream. My throat hurts like hell because I'm not used to this. <clears throat> um, 24 plus hour stream. It's a subathon. So if you want to increase the length of it, come over and subscribe. Uh, and also subscribe to the channel and also follow my Twitch. Those are also ways to increase the timer. But thank you all for watching. I love you guys. Comment below who your top three most wanted units in Weathering Waves are. And I'll see you in the next video.